Hi, it's Dana with Constructing Artistics. I wanted to do a quick little video. Um, I, I've been doing video after video about these wands, and thank God that's about coming to a close. I have a few more mermaid wands to make, and that's it. But I bought these die-cut shapes from Recollections. They were on sale for $3, and um, they have three different mermaids, and I'm going to get 12. Um, I had used a coupon and something else and I got them for two bucks and something which I thought was a good deal but I think of mermaids these mythical creatures as you know more a little more glamorous a little bit more romanticized and I thought these ladies were a little plain so I wanted to give you some ideas of how you could dress them up so let's start with the blonde uh, I don't know that she's gonna have more fun she's kind of plain so I am um, I gussied her up a bit. She, um, I gave her a little purse that I just made with my curvy scissors, and I stuck a bulb pin in there. I need to put another layer on it so that it doesn't, you can kind of see the bulb pin through the paper where it's glued on. Then I used that same paper to cut a new shell out because this shell is just kind of plain, and this one is sparkly. And then I put a bow in her hair and added a little stickles to the flower. Now, as for those eyelashes, look at those eyelashes. I, oh, and I gave her some, uh, let me see if I can put this on a piece of paper so you can see it better. I gave her a little lipstick in a nice peachy color. I don't know if you can see that. I did that with my Jelly Roll uh, metallic pen. And then I added some eyelashes and gave her a little bit of cat eye. And so <clears throat> I just took these Duralash eyelashes that I don't wear these anymore, typically, <laughs> unless we have a dress occasion. But I had some eyelashes left over. Um, they sell these little packs at, at Sally's, and I just took those and cut them down and glued them on. So I think that now she's ready to be on a wand. And as for Miss Purple Hair over here, let's get her back. <clears throat> she also looked uh, just a little plain. So I, um, I gave her a flower in her hair, a an actual 3D flower. Also gave her some eyeliner and eyelashes. Um, and I gave her a, a sequined shell to hold. I didn't like the hole in it and I cut it down just a little bit. I have this big ridiculous bag of sequins that I always think I'll never use until this stuff like this comes along and I'm always grabbing one of these big sequin pieces and chopping it up but I cut it down it looks like that um, originally and then I cut it down to um, to make it smaller and glued it into her hand and I stickled her her shell bikini top just a little bit added some eyeliner and then I also gave her with my jelly roll metallic pen some frosty pink pinky purple I don't know what color that's called if you can see it might be a little bit of a glare. Anyway, I wanted them to be a little bit more glamorous looking. I wanted her to have a little bit more of a smirk, a little pouty uh, lip. Her lip looked a little thin, so I decided to augment it. I wanted to just offer some ideas. I think that sometimes these things at the store are fun, but you really can do a lot with them. So this is Dana. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.